Tell me what you want, tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay, no, no, no I just want to be with you, I just want to be with you, yeah This story is about living in a cave house with a traditional Spanish family experiencing one of the warmest welcomes and one I will never forget. I was delighted to learn that these cave houses are not only beautiful but energy efficient, green and inexpensive. They are well insulated from the extremes of hot and cold. The caves are naturally formed from thousands of years ago, when the land was once the ocean. You'll see the cured hams and my personal favourite, a fireplace. This home is quaint, charming and simplicity at its best. It's a typical Spanish rustic style cave home. I was surprised at how large and spacious it was. Rosanna, look, yeah. you're telling me behind us is all these cave houses. Yeah, this is Galera. From here you can have a really oh, nice view cool. of the town. You have the church in the middle, like every single town you spend pretty much everywhere in the world. Uh -huh. The caves, they're all up there on the hill. Wow. Yeah, so basically they dig into the mountain, yeah. the hill, whatever mm -hmm. you call it, and then they create a houses inside. And they're very cool. And very cool and warm. in the winter? Yeah, they're okay. actually warm in winter. winter. That's why they use in the caves, yeah. They're warm in winter and they're very fresh in summer. It's well so, insulated. Exactly, yes, very well. And very sustainable as well, you know? Because you don't need to use central heater, True. you don't need to use air conditioning. Uh, yeah, that's how they used to do back in the day. It's really chilly. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit chilly, <laughs> but still a little bit sunny too. Yeah, it's got some rays on our face. coming out. If you love the countryside, perhaps growing your own produce, contributing to the planet, and don't mind going back to basics, it's excellent. It's beautiful surroundings, almond groves, and millions of olive trees. It's so quiet, and the perfect location makes a start on that novel that you might have always wanted to write. Perhaps go on hikes or ride a horse Simply enjoy and relax. The girls tell me tomorrow we're going to go up to the top of the mountain and we're going to go and see another town. Uh, sending out good vibes to anyone back in Australia or anyone in lockdown or homebound. Just stay safe and I hope that I can continue to bring you some entertainment or help you guys just escape from obviously the current situation that we're all in and we're just, we are all managing it in our own way. Whatever way that might be is quite unique from one to the other. I'm just very, very fortunate right now to be here in Spain and not for one minute do I doubt or not think about how bloody lucky I am. And Rosanna is serving us. Yes, please. Which is gracias. Who cooked it? My father. Oh, oh, fantastic. I get to play.
Rosanna, you want to give a tour? Yeah. <laughs> Rosanna's casa. Da -da. This house has been closed for very long time. Oh, yeah. uh, people used to live here. Oh, you know, Rosanna, I love this place. 100 years ago. Yeah. You see the walls? Kind of white. Yeah. This is cal. I don't know how to say cal. So it's a natural material from the stones. Some natural material that they used to put the whole cave was white inside. It's gorgeous. You see? Yeah. But now obviously it's very old cave, so, so it's everything. crumbling. It's crumbling. But this used to be the kitchen here. They used to have a chimney. You see the hole over there? Yep. Yep. And yep. they used to have all the tools, the kitchen tools. Yeah. Um, Hanging out in the pots and pans. The pans the oh, I love yeah. it. I this is cool. Mm. I love this one. This one's almost a little bit smaller than your dad's, half the size, but it's good. I love it. Oh, it's so cool. Very dark. Let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> There's cow poo in here. Oh, yeah. So I think this was for the animals. They used to have the animals here. You can see that. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Don't know. Oh. But yeah, don't it's know. interesting. Yeah, I know. It doesn't smell here either. No, it doesn't. Long time since they had yeah, animals. This, this is like 100 years old. And there's a bale of hay. <laughs> yeah, this is for the horses. I love it. Mm -hmm. Rosanna, let's do something with this one as well. We finish yours first. Example. Yeah. Okay. Oh, who's that? Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Prickly pear in Spanish. Chumbo. Onesie's cave. Oh, the front facade is finished. No, not quite. <laughs> oh. Sandstone. This is fun. We're going up the top of the hill above the house just to go and see this view. Is it's meant to be an absolutely spectacular view. So this place could be really good for a yoga retreat. It's amazing. Rainbow over there. Another rainbow. I think this is land of rainbows. Oh, I can see a rainbow. Oh, I love the landscape, the clouds, and the mountains. 